All right, welcome to the next lesson, negotiations. This is the dreaded part you wanting to avoid. I want you to sit back, take a deep breath, and just realize you're not having to do any of this in person, at the dealership, face-to-face, head-to-head, none of that uncomfortableness, none of that stress, none of those hard decisions, whether you should get up and leave, whether you should take the deal. You're at home, you have options. This is the whole point of why you're do- doing it this way. So negotiations are gonna be easy for you. Um, I've made it easy below this training. There is links and downloads for dealer correspondence and re- responses, but let's talk a little bit about how this all works. So you're going to be receiving quotes, many quotes from lots of dealers. And when you receive any quote, you just want to thank the dealer for the quote. And then you want to tell them it is higher than what you were looking for, for a vehicle in this price range. And then you want to ask the dealer if this is the best they can do, or can they do any better? And then you also want to ask the dealer if they will consider a counter offer. And, and that's the email, which you have, uh, have below for you to use will look something like this. Hello, thank you so much for the offer. It is definitely higher than what I was hoping for from a vehicle in this price range. Is this your best offer or can you do any better? Would you consider a counter offer from me? Send, that's it. And then we move on to the actual counter offer method. So when you're making counter offers, you wanna make an offer below your desired payments with hopes to meet the, the dealer in the middle. So I like to to make counter offers at the 1.25% of MSRP uh, using the quote grading scale that we learned in a few lessons back. Um, And the way that that works is you just reverse it. So instead of dividing the the payment by the MSRP to get the percentage, you just just multiply the MSRP times the percentage you're looking for. So the 1.25% is below you know, what we're hoping to get the dealer to. That's actually where dealers were leasing cars about three years ago. So if you got a lease three years ago, that's probably where, what you're used to. So it's a- actually asking for a payment of what you probably got the last time. So it makes sense to the dealer. That's what you're used to. This is really a good place to, to, to payment to ask for. So just for an example, like if the car has a $40,000 MSRP, you multiply it by 0. 0.0125 and that'll give you a request or counter offer of $500. So let's say this dealer had quoted you something close to 700. Um, you know, if you do the math on that, you know, a 1.5% deal would be somewhere around 600. So if you're hoping that it, you'll accept something, uh, you know, closer to six, offer them five, and then hopefully they'll meet you somewhere in the middle. Um, like I said, the goal is to get the dealer down to 1.5% or better. So asking for a 1.25% payment is how you do that. And you know, a lot of times they'll come back and they may say, no, they can't do that. Or maybe they'll make you a counter offer themselves that's still higher than what, what you're willing to take. In these situations, just be polite, thank the dealers for their time when you can't reach a deal and then ask them to reach out to you in the future if anything changes. So we don't wanna burn any bridges. We wanna keep the lines of communication open. We're shopping from home. We have options. Well, anytime it doesn't work out with any given dealer, no problem, just move on to the next one. And that leads us right into staying patient. So we want to, you know, this may take you a month, two months, three months to find the best car, especially in the current market as deals are changing and leasing programs are getting better. It may take you some time to get enough quotes to take this process to its conclusion and actually find your next car. But just be patient because dealers will email you weeks later asking you if you're still in the market. So dealers will revisit serious buyers more willing to negotiate when it benefits the dealer to move a unit. So you decide how long you are willing to wait to keep shopping for a payment you like. So I have a whole section on this at the end of this train at the end of this got uh, into this course. So if you are at the end of your lease and you need more time to shop, you may want to look into a lease extension. Um, check the check ahead. I have an entire training on that. Um, and then as you just keep shopping, continue e- emailing dealers for your second and third choices. And like I said, inventory and leasing programs can change monthly. So, you know, you may be able to revisit some dealers in a month or two. They'll be emailing you and just keep shopping more and more dealers. Use the techniques you've used, you've learned and, you know, find that best deal out there. Don't forget there's links, there's downloads for dealer counter offers and dealer interactions attached to this training. So be sure to use them, adjust them however you like, remove the brackets and happy shopping and happy negotiating. And congratulations, you took yourself completely out of the head to head in person dealership. You didn't have your time wasted. Pat yourself on the back. I'll see you in the next lesson.